<laughs> Good morning, mamas. It's Serena. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I wanted to get a video up. So, um, I thought I would do a quick little chit chat video because I have several videos that um, are in the works and I have a really bad habit of working on multiple videos at the same time instead of just finishing them one at a time. So I am currently working on that. Um, I, you guys know, well, you guys should already know that I use this channel to document um, some of our homeschool fun as well as use my creative juices. And sometimes that gets in the way. And it gets in the way because, um, yeah, I want them to be a certain way. And um, I just thought that maybe I need to, in addition to the videos that I'm working on, I can also come in and do these chit chat type videos just so we can stay connected. Whew, I'm so hot this morning and I really don't know why. I kind of know what I want to say, but I kind of don't. So forgive me. <laughs> but I guess I've been thinking a lot lately about the sacrifices that we make as a family to homeschool. And while it would be wonderful to say that, you know, all of our finances were completely great and everything was in order and made it super easy for us to be able to afford to homeschool. Um, that's not the case. There's a lot of sacrifice that's involved. So, um, I've just been thinking about that a lot lately and feel like I've been pulled in a bunch of different directions. I know when I first started homeschooling, um, I basically just pick up a lot of different things in order to make it all work. And what I mean by that is, um, I did have a photography business. I, stu I still do have a photography business. Um, and I would take shoots sessions weddings and whatever else to bring in a little extra money here and there so that we could keep this homeschool thing you know going so anywhere from doing photo shoots or um design work just lots of different things that i would split myself in different directions in order to be able to uh have funds to keep the whole homeschool thing going so sorry if you hear them in the background i mean they're here sorry <laughs> like basically as a homeschooling family you have to do things to adjust for the fact that you don't have that second income and so that's what i've done for the last three four years um and lately i've just been really feeling pulled in a lot of different directions and it's making me quite frustrated uh, i love the photography business but trying to do that design work and whatever else um plus homeschool um the bottom line is i'm just not giving it my all you know so um i've really just been doing a lot of thinking and praying about it because different things will come up different opportunities will come up and they sound good and they seem good and i would notice that i would be really stressed out about it you know and um or uh, i would have certain plans for homeschool and a shoot would come up or something else would come up and i would spend my time doing that and then homeschool would get pushed to the afternoon actually that like happens a lot of times and don't get me wrong that's the beauty of homeschool that you can move things around and adjust things to fit what you um, need to be able to do but there has to come a certain point there has to be a certain point where you decide that um you know homeschooling is your priority and unfortunately you know i can't honestly say that i can honestly say that the priority has been making some type of money so that you can continue to afford to homeschool and so i just really been praying about it and asking the lord like what am i supposed to do about this you know um i've been getting more inquiries for photography and some other things i also have a um a t-shirt business uh brian and i have started a lifestyle brand which consists of t-shirts and mugs and things like that um, which I'm really passionate about and I just been coming to the Lord like what like I feel really pulled in different directions Jesus you know <laughs> and a lot of the response that I've been getting or things that um, have been brought to my attention is that I cannot do it all you know and do it all well you know and 
it came to a point where um, I just felt like I needed to pick one and just really go completely after that thing. Am I making sense? This is like real chit chatty right now, I'm sorry, okay? I basically am just to the point where it's like I need to pick something to focus on and like give it my all. And I got really conflicted because obviously my first choice would be homeschool. Like I have a vision for our family and um, how I want homeschooling, what I want homeschooling to look like for us, you know? But that requires money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, you know, even though that is clearly my first choice, I always end up pushing that aside and saying, well, I have to pick something that produces me the most money, you know? So then I move on to like my photography work, my other businesses or means of getting money. So I started taking more shoots um, and I can do it. I I'm not gonna say that you can't do it because it is possible, you know? But I noticed that it took me away from the kids, you know? Like I had to schedule sessions, I had to carve out time to edit, and they just knew mommy as working behind the computer, and um, and you know, she's always working, she's always getting this done. And I don't think that there's anything completely wrong with that, because I am here with them. It's just not what I envisioned, it's not what I wanted. And it was really, it was a conflict for me, you know, in my heart because I have this specific vision and what I'm doing is not really benefiting that vision as much as I would like it to. Of course, it sends us a little extra money, you know, to take a little bit of the pressure off, but let's be real, like, it wasn't completely getting rid of the pressure, so, you know, what do you do? Um, and then obviously I have my YouTube channel. So I have my vlog channel, which I love. And I have this homeschool channel, which I love. But I only have a few videos on this homeschool channel and that was not what I had in mind. I wanted to be able to really go after it and have a creative, you know, um, way of documenting the progress we were making and the fun we were having together as a family in homeschool. And it wasn't quite going <laughs> that way. So, um, I'm still being very, very chit chatty, aren't I? I'm sorry. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I have gotten to a point where I need to decide what I'm gonna focus on. What I've decided to do was focus on homeschool. <laughs> I want to focus on homeschool. I have a really big vision for us as a homeschooling family and I feel so blessed to have an opportunity to even, you know, start on this path and I really want to give it everything that I've got. And yes, photography produces money for me um, instantly and my t-shirt business also uh, produces money instantly. and. You know, homeschool doesn't do that, but that doesn't mean that it can't do that, you know? So I really wanted to, I've been going back and forth about it because I don't want, you know, this homeschool channel to become about trying to gather sponsors or anything like that, you know? But I do want to find a way to make this YouTube channel um, a success in our eyes. Um, the way we see things and I really have big vision for that as a family um, that will allow me to be creative and allow me to build a community you know with people that just to share not even specific um, types of homeschooling moms but just the homeschool community in general or just as a family in general I feel like we have gotten away from the beauty of your individual families and the ability to share with other people what your dream is for your family, you know? So, um, yeah, so I said all of that to say <laughs> that I decided to focus on homeschool and this YouTube channel. So, uh, we're really excited. I am pretty sure that it's not gonna go exactly the way that I want it to go, but I want to put all of my energies into that because it serves my family. Anything that I do creatively and um, for the sake of work or earning an income, I want it to benefit them wholly, 
you know um so I don't know I don't know how it's gonna go as far as sponsors or whatever else or selling items like I'm all for that I'm all for you know moms in business or families in business and um, I just had to decide in my heart and in my mind I don't want to come out here and say hey this is what we have buy it buy it buy it <laughs> you know but at the same time I do want to make sure that um, that I am benefiting us as a family all the way around, you know? So, yeah, basically this video is about what I'm deciding to focus on, and that is homeschool for us and our family. So, um, yeah, I have a lot of really cool things in store, and I'm gonna do better, you know, getting my videos, getting my videos out in a um, more consistent, on a more consistent basis but in the meantime I thought these chit chats are fun and I thought we could do some um, day in the lives of homeschools and just I want to be able to sit down like when I have no makeup on and I'm tired and be able to talk to you about my homeschool day or life in general because really homeschool is life like you really can't separate the two I feel like the more the more I refuse to Put homeschool in a box the more I realize that it's really about a lifestyle and less about school lessons does anybody know what I'm trying to say <laughs> um it's really strange talking to a camera like this but I'm hoping that the more that I do it the more that um, I see you guys as another mommy or another homeschooling family on the other end of this and I'm excited about the creative things that I have planned for instance um, I do have a video that I'm working on about why we homeschool um, and uh, another video about who we are as a homeschooling family um, I did post a video uh, the last video probably before this one um, I posted that video about most days and that's kind of like a little bit of my creative flair you know okay my camera died sorry guys <laughs> but um basically I have a lot of really cool things coming up and I'm also super open to anything you guys would like to see um I am working on a what's in our work boxes and um some changes we've made in homeschool and um yeah some art projects um some of the projects we've been working on over the last few weeks i'm working on that stuff you okay babe mm -hmm. okay <laughs> so i'm really excited and i'm glad you guys sat through this chit chat because i know it's you know it's probably a little long now and my battery is about to die but again thank you guys for watching thank you thank you thank you so much because i think it's really so youtube really is so cool um and yeah talk to me in the comments below you can send me an email like i literally love talking to you guys and the hardest part about youtube for me is um feeling like you're talking to yourself or feeling like you're watching the numbers you know i i just want to treat i don't want to even say i want to treat each number because like you're watching and you're real people and I know that because I watch and I'm real people and um, I really just want us to grow our families together and you know to fight all of the negative stuff that comes along together and just really learn to enjoy this life as a mom and as a homeschooling family because it has challenges but um i'm really excited and yeah so whatever um i'm gonna go join them because they're watching a movie and i want to watch it with them um so yeah that's it so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed if you would like to see more from me and us and yeah just talk to me in the comments below like i love talking back i really do <laughs> And I know that that may be a product of us, you know, me being a really small channel right now, but I hope that that always remains. I really, really do. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and thanks for listening to my chit chat, okay? Bye! <laughs> Just my boo boop! <laughs> Let's go watch a movie. I'm looking for the iPad charger. I'm looking for the iPad charger. Huh? Okay, I'll help you find it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sam's mom. Some chargers in there. What? What are you talking about?
Real life laundry in the background. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>